What's up guys and welcome to this video. We are on question 3 in the previous of question 3 of the 2018 November exam. This is paper 2. Um, in the previous video we did question 2 so we're moving on to question 3. So let's get straight into it. So on the set of axes below the graph of f of x is equal to cos 2x between 0 and 180 degrees has been sketched. Okay, so we have a nice graph. Then it says on the set of axes shown above, sketch the graph g of x is equal to 3 times sine 2x between 0 and 180 degrees. Okay, so before we can sketch this, let us first understand what is happening. Okay, so we start off with our normal sine graph. goes from, we have 90, 180, 270, 360 and our normal sine graph looks something like that okay so that is sine of x then what we do is we plug in a 3 in front of it so now we have sine of 3 uh, sorry 3 sine x okay and this point here was 1 and this point here was minus 1 so when we plug in a 3 in front we're multiplying everything by 3 so what happens is so what happens is this thing goes up all the way to 3 and it goes all the way down to minus 3. So we change the amplitude. Okay, now we've also plugged in a 2 in front of the x. So we have another change and what we have is we have, uh, let's try a color. It's going to stand out. Let's say green. We have 3 sine 2x. Okay, so what does that do? What that does is the normal period for sine x is 360 degrees. But when we plug in a 2, we divide the normal period by 2. So our period now okay, is now actually equal to 180 degrees. So what that means is that everything happens a bit faster. So what we need is now we need 45, 90, uh, what's that, 135 and 180 and so what we have is we have something that looks like that so that hits the top at 45 degrees comes all the way down at 90 degrees it's the bottom at, at 135 and goes up to 180 so everything happened faster okay something like that okay so if we wanted to plot that here so what we have is zero at 45 degrees we have it going to three at 90 we have it at 0 and at 135 we have it at minus 3 and we have it at 0 once again so what we have oh, let's try to draw that a little bit better but you guys know what it should look like hopefully you've drawn something that looks like that um, and you can do some nice calculations there if you want but yeah, or you can do it graphically like I did, um, as long as you draw it correctly. Okay, then it says, part B says, calculate the values for x where f of x is equal to g of x in that period right there. So we already know what f of x is. f of x is, let's see, cos of 2x. So cos 2x. And we want that to be equal to g of x. Let's put g of x in front. g of x, which was equal to 3 sine 2x. Okay, so what I'm going to, we have the same, we've got 2x here and 2x here. So what we can do is we can divide both sides by cos 2x. So what we have is 3 sine 2x over cos 2x. Okay, and that there is just tan of 2x is equal to 1. So I can get tan by itself. So tan of 2x is equal to 1 over 3. Take, then I'm going to take, um, uh, so I'm going to minus tan that. So that means I can get that, so I'm going to say 2x is equal to tan to minus 1 of a third. And that gives me an angle, which I'm going to call my reference angle. Okay, and if I plug that into my calculator, that gives me 18, comma, 4, 3 degrees. Okay, so that's one solution. But it says 
between 0 and 180. So there's multiple solutions. So what we can say is that 2x is equal to our reference angle plus k, where k is 1, 2, 3, etc., times 180 degrees, because the tan graph repeats itself after 180 degrees. Then I can say I'm going to divide everything by 2, so that gives me 9, 2, 2 degrees plus k, 90 degrees. Now I've got my answers. So x is equal to 9,22 degrees, plus I let k equals, so that was for k equals 0, then I let k equals 1, uh, and I get 99,22 degrees. And then if I let k equals 2, then we are above 180, so we stop at that point, and that is our solution. Okay, so there is the answer, all right, um, yeah, okay, next we say, or we have, for what values of x will g of x over f of x be undefined? Okay, undefined, very important, undefined when the bottom is equal to zero, so undefined, um, uh, for undefined, what we have is that f of x is equal to 0. So f of x is the graph that was drawn on for us already. So we just need to find the points where f of x is equal to 0. That's that point right there and that point right there. So, so f of x is, or well, we can say cos of 2x is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to, and it was 45 degrees, and 135 degrees. Okay, and we get two marks for that, four marks for that, and four marks for the previous question, which all adds up to 10, and that question is done. Quite a nice uh, simple question of drawing a graph and just some understanding. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys. In the next video, we'll be going over a proof. Thanks for watching.